But first tonight, the Vulcan Centaur is about to make its debut. We are just about three hours now away, three hours and 12 minutes to be exact, from a brand new rocket blasting off from the Space Coast. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Eichen. I'm very glad you're with us tonight. We've been telling you about this long delayed Vulcan since it was first unveiled back in 2015. Tonight, it should finally fly. Our new six Space Coast reporter, James Barvera, has been keeping an eye on this new rocket all week long. James, so the engines have been tested, but this rocket has never actually flown. Not that we're expecting any issues, but we really don't know how this is going to go. Hey, Eric. So this evening, I think the critics are feeling like this is really a make or break mission for ULA. Of course, it's a brand new rocket, and as we've been reporting, it's not just going to orbit, Vulcan Centaur's mission takes it all the way to the moon. So let me give you a look of my beautiful shot tonight looking at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Launch Pad 41. Vulcan Centaur at the launch pad scheduled for a 218 liftoff. The countdown clock is ticking. It's carrying what would become the first commercial spacecraft to land on the moon. It would be the first American spacecraft of any lunar lander to touch down on the lunar surface since Apollo 17 now over 53 years ago, 51 years, pardon me. United Launch Alliance, of course, they've tested the systems to failure, so it's expected to go well. It's a different setup than, say, the Starship rocket, where that heavy launcher from SpaceX, of course, as we've watched in its test flights, it's exploded a couple times. Much different expectations here tonight. The weather is a go. The mission, long delayed, was originally expected to launch, well, as of 2023, it was expected to launch last summer did not happen, but here we are tonight, and ULA is reporting that all systems are a go, Eric, as we count down to 218. It's gonna be a very exciting night. It kind of reminds me when you and I were both here in the fall of 2022 for the first SLS launch. We've got anticipation similar to that, I would say, with a brand new rocket. Yeah, and, and of course, important to point out here, James, that this is largely an Atlas V that has been upgraded. So yeah, we're expecting this to go well, but ULA's biggest competitor easily, of course, is SpaceX, which launches, as you've covered, often sometimes twice a week, and they can do that because their rocket is reusable, but this new Vulcan is not and has no plans to be, which begs the question, how can Vulcan and ULA even begin to compete with SpaceX on their pace Yet ULA is betting on it. They got a bunch of customers already lined up, James. So I think obviously if the rocket is not reusable, I don't think ULA has any expectations of reaching SpaceX with their launch cadence. SpaceX this year is planning 150 launches nationwide. And locally, Florida officials think we're gonna have 100 launches here. And obviously SpaceX would still do most of the heavy lifting. Last year, Eric, the record 72 launches and as we reported, it was only four or five that were not SpaceX launches. So the amount of ULA launches that happened last year, you could count on one hand. So I think the bar isn't very high, but if a new rocket gets off the ground tonight as ULA competes for those Department of Defense contracts against SpaceX, I think they certainly expect to launch a little bit more than they did last year, to say the least. Yeah, different business model for sure compared to SpaceX and another option for the government to launch, as you said, their uh, very high value payloads, James. Thank you. I know you're going to be out there for the next few hours at least. For, for everybody who wants to watch this historic launch, you'll have to stay up now a little bit longer. Liftoff, as we said, is set for 2.18 later on tonight or early monday morning the launch window is 45 minutes long so it may not go up right at 218 james like we said is going to stay out there we'll bring this to you live on new six and clickorlando.com when it happens